Hello friends. Many mountain and forest environments are being destroyed, forest fires are occurring, and forest vegetation is affected. Some invasive species are gradually approaching areas around residential areas, even in cities. This video will tell you how American farmers have coped with these invasive animals. Some people discovered a herd of black bears moving on the highway, and some people had to abandon their cars and run. They suddenly appeared in this man's yard, causing him to panic. It went into the convenience store and ate food from the shelves. It looks like this bear is very hungry. Not stopping there, this family's garden is being threatened by these two bears. The two bears started attacking each other. And, you know, the entire garden was destroyed by them in one night. In a major accident caused by a black bear, the car was seriously damaged and fell below the grass verge. This accident was in the news, and it was also to remind people traveling on such highways to travel at a safe speed. However, the number of these species is increasing rapidly, forcing the government to issue directives to control this population. These black bears can climb, and it is not easy to find them in the forest. These hunters have prepared food that they like to tie tightly to barrels on tree trunks. When bears smell food, they will come closer. To hunt these black bears, these hunters will hide in the trees, looking for an opportunity to shoot. They use arrows laced with anesthetics to hunt this animal. After being shot, they will run away for a distance, and when the drug is absorbed, they will lie still. Hunters just harvest them. These deer are also invasive species. Did you know that they are almost just normal herbivores? But if you get close to them, they will attack you. These two people were chasing this deer away but the result was not as expected. It attacked both the pet and the two people. This is a very dangerous situation. I advise you not to act like that. Please stay as far away from them as possible because they can attack you when you get close. In cornfields, it is easy to see deer eating corn cobs preparing to be harvested.
they will gradually approach the middle of the field to hide and eat agricultural products. It is estimated that each year, the corn output eaten by deer can reach millions of tons. This is a quite serious problem for people. In addition to deer, the red deer is also a worrying invasive species. They run freely on the road, making people around here fearful and staying away. Many accidents happen, and around those accidents, these animals appear. The government has issued instructions to build fences to surround their living areas to ensure they do not run freely on highway sections. More specifically in this range, it is very easy to hunt them. Hunters from all over the world come here to hunt these animals. They are professional workers and act together with their teammates. When they identify the target, they will aim accurately and shoot at their chest. This part will cause paralysis, making it impossible for the animal to escape. In some other residential areas, there is often the appearance of such snakes. They will lie still in the garden and wait for someone to pass by before attacking. Luckily, the man avoided the snake's attack. Not only in the home garden, there was a camera recording that during a baseball match, a snake appeared on the field. It caused the competition to be interrupted. The number of black bears and deer, red deer, and snakes is decreasing. So each year, the government will regulate the hunting of these species. There are many more invasive species to discover. Now let's take a deeper look. Wild boars hunting expeditions in Texas are among the largest and most famous in the world, drawing thousands of hunters annually to the Lone Star State. The Panhandle region offers a great choice for hunters looking for giant feral hawks. Often weighing more than 100 pounds, professional hunting companies often organizes these expeditions, providing hunters with equipment, guides, and accommodation. Before each hunt, the hunter group will be moved to a common gathering area. Discussions and posting of information and regulations of the hunting area will be captured right at this time. They will be then divided into hunting teams and then they will begin the journey to find the giant wild boar. Challenging terrains and high wild boar populations makes this a top destination for those chasing a significant trophy.
if you think just spend money to buy a hunting license and you can go to any hunting area as you like, you must understand that hunting and observation skills are very important. Unlike normal wild boars, this giant wild boar has incredible strength. They range in size from 200 pounds to 600 pounds and are capable of running at twice the speed of normal wild boar breeds. Their skin and fur are thicker, so choosing hunting tools is very important to be able to catch them in one go. In these high and open positions, it is easy to see the direction of wild boar's movement. They will move when they detect strange noises around this area. Seizing this moment, hunters and farmers quickly ran after and caught the wild boars. Everything seemed easy, but no, he missed and the wild boar escaped with the ability to move fast and far. The giant wild boar left the hunter far behind. Another wild boar was discovered by hunting dogs brought in as support. This wild boar is quite large, possibly weighed about 300 pounds. His flexibility and quick hands help harvesting a large booty, celebrating with teammates. The hell country, characterized by dense forests, provides an ideal environment for hunters looking to engage wild boars in a wooded setting. The diverse landscape offers a unique challenge and rich hunting experience. He literally let the wild boar escape in the blink of an eye. The speed at which it moved was so fast, it seemed impossible to underestimate its power. The hunters immediately split up and moved over greater distances. The probability of catching it will be about 60% higher that way. Will the wild boar be caught this time? Oh, it was taken down by the nearest hunter. That is important. So hunting with teammates can be both safe and will catch a larger number of wild boars. This giant wild boar escaped and moved down towards the farms. Luckily, the hounds were still moving and chasing it. It was knocked down while trying to escape on the hillside. What if a giant wild boar escaped? Simple math will be, a giant boar weighing 100 pounds will cost about $3,000, and that's a very bad thing, isn't it? There are hunting teams after the competition time. They will be awarded with prizes right in the forest. The prize can be a medal, and of course, the captured wild boars will be converted into money for the hunter. According to a study published in the Journal of Wildlife Management, the huge wild boar hunting industry in the United States ranks in about $1 billion a year. The money comes from the sale of wild boar's meat, hunting tags, and hunting-related services, such as hunting guides and hunting equipment rentals. On average, each hunter and the United States earns about $2,000 per year for hunting giant wild boars. 
The number of giant wild boars hunted in the United States every year is also significant. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, FWS, approximately 2 million giant feral hogs are hunted in the United States each year. The number of giant wild boars being hunted is increasing due to increased demand for wild boar's meat, and despite all of this, the giant wild boar is still increasing rapidly. So how do Texas farmers deal with millions of giant wild boars attacking cornfields as well? Let's continue watching the rest of the video to know exactly how. The beaver rat is a rodent native to Europe, introduced to the United States in the 19th century and has rapidly proliferated, causing many invasive environmental and economic impacts. This species has caused significant damage to the ecosystems and almost all agricultural products in Florida. Beaver rats often attack crops damaging food supplies and disturbing the balance in the local ecosystem. In particular, they cause great damage to the grasslands, burrowing and destroying the structure of grasslands, causing significant impacts on livestock and agriculture. To control the proliferation of invasion of beaver rats, trapping methods have been developed and widely used. In this video, we're going to look at two important methods for catching beaver mice. Trapping beaver mice with cages and trapping beaver mice with wire underwater. The method of trapping beaver mice with cages is based on the principle that when beaver mice approach the bait inside the cage, they will get trapped inside. The advantage of this method is that it is highly effective in capturing beaver's rats and causes little harm to the species. However, it should be noted that the cage is large in size, making it difficult to move and deploy. The method of trapping beaver rats with steel wire underwater is a method of controlling beaver rats, based on the principle that when they try to move through the trap area, they will become trapped in the underwater steel wire. The advantages of this method includes its low cost effectiveness and ease of implementation. And compared to other methods, setting up and using steel wire beaver traps under soy sauce is economical and does not require any resources. Despite its advantages, this method also has limitations that needs to be considered. One of the important limitations is that the potential for injury to animals other than beaver rats When other animals, whether native or rare, pass through the trapping area, they can accidentally become trapped in the underwater wire and become injured. This requires careful attention and monitoring to ensure that the method does not negatively impact other wildlife species. 
Therefore, when applying the method of trapping beaver mice with steel wire underwater, it is necessary to have a technical management plan and regular monitoring model to ensure the safety and effectiveness of this method at the same time, while protecting other animals in the impact area. Statistical data from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission shows that in 2022, American farmers used a beaver trap method with cages to catch more than 100,000 beaver mice. While the trap method of trapping beaver rats with steel wire underwater has resulted in the capture of more than 50,000 beaver rats, According to the estimates from Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission in 2022, American farmers conducted hunting activities to control the beaver population with more than 25,000 beaver rats captured. Beaver hunting has become a popular activity in Florida, especially in rural areas, to maintain ecological balance and protect marsh habitat. However, to conduct beaver mouse hunting activities effectively and safely, participants need to follow some specific principles and notes. Swamps are complex, dangerous habitats, and hunters need experience and skill to participate in this activity. They need to be fully equipped with life jackets to ensure safety when exposed to water, helmets to protect their heads, and goggles to protect their eyes from dangerous factors in the swamp environment. To increase the effectiveness of beaver mouse hunting, participants can use binoculars to observe the hunting area from afar and set traps and places where beaver mice often visit, such as trails, paths, and baited areas. Beaver rats are a common rodent, often appear in some areas and people's yards. In this situation, the method used to treat beaver rats involves capturing and then releasing them back into the wild. This is considered a humane treatment method for the species. By capturing and returning beaver rats to their natural environment, people have caused survival and ecological balance. demonstrating concern for protecting and preserving the environment while minimizing the encroachment of the species into human habitation areas. Although this approach can be considered a humane measure, managing and controlling beaver rat populations also requires an understanding of ecology and the effectiveness of specific measures to ensure preserving the balance between this species and the natural environment while ensuring safety and resilience for people in the agriculture. Although they are invasive species, but their population control is being done very well by people. Their meat is also one of the most popular foods. They're also contributing to the human food chain. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos.
And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.